Hi, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Did you know a front-end loader is actually a type of tractor, just like the backhoe loader? They usually have big wheels. They have a large bucket on the front, which is great for pushing material around, like this dirt. or scooping it up, then dropping the dirt into the back of a truck. This loader is dropping grain out of the bucket. Some loaders can be really large, and some are much smaller. They can also be used for lots of different jobs. The bucket can be removed. Now the loader can pick up hay. Or the bucket can be replaced with a snow plow attachment. So the loader can scrape snow off the road. This loader is removing the snow from the driveway and road. Can you see the chains on the wheels? This is so they don't slip in the snow and ice. The loader pushes the snow into a big pile. Now the cars can get out and drive on the road safely. The loaders work late into the night. Thanks, Mr. Loader. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Can you think of 10 red machines? Here are my 10 favorite red machines. At 10, we have a big red double-decker bus. Driving through town. Number nine is a shiny red motorbike. Eight is a little red snowblower clearing away snow. Seven, bright red helicopters are very cool. The rotor blades spin very fast. Six underground trains for red nose and red doors. Five, some super duper tractors are red too. Four, and so are speedy red quad bikes. Whoosh! Three, red planes fly high in the sky. Two, red cars can be really fast. Finally, one, everyone's favorite red machine is a fire truck. <laughs> Did you like my favorite red machines? Can you think of any others? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Can you think of any machines that are yellow? What about a yellow cab? The bright yellow cabs stand out amongst all the other cars. 
they are easy to spot for the passengers. This is handy for construction vehicles too. There are huge yellow dump trucks working in mines. Yellow diggers scooping up dirt. And yellow loaders pushing dirt around. Yellow backhoes love to dig. And big strong yellow bulldozers are really tough. Tractors on cars can be yellow too. And some fast cars are yellow. Bright yellow school buses are also easy to see. That's why they have flashing lights. Do you like the color yellow? Isn't yellow great? Can you think of any other yellow machines? What about a cool yellow helicopter flying in slow motion? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a helicopter before? I have. And aren't they magnificent? Did you know, helicopters have lots of funny nicknames. Chopper, Copter, Heli, or even Whirlybird. Here is a red Whirlybird in the snow. The rotor blades spin very fast. This lifts the Whirlybird into the air. From high in the air, you can see lots of wonderful sights. You can see the ocean, towns, cities with skyscrapers, helicopter pads, rivers, lakes, mountains. deserts, and animals. Helicopters are great for rescuing people in trouble. This is because, like a plane, they are fast. But they can also land almost anywhere. stadium perhaps, or a car park. The President of the United States of America has their own helicopter. It's a big green chopper called Marine One. Would you like to have your own helicopter too? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Trucks, glorious trucks. Do you know what a truck is? Truck is the name used for lots of different vehicles. A truck can be slightly bigger than a car, huge like a mining dump truck, or really, really long like a road train truck. Generally, a truck is a strong vehicle that carries all kinds of goods. They could carry liquids and gases, like this tanker truck.
or lots of large wooden logs, like on the back of this semi-trailer truck. And here comes a heavy construction truck carrying a digger. Smaller trucks can be used to tow things, like a caravan trailer. And dump trucks are good for carrying dirt, rocks, or rubble. Some trucks have special equipment attached. Fire trucks have tools, ladders, and hoses. While garbage trucks have compactors to squash the trash. And concrete mixers have a spinning drum. This keeps the concrete from drying. Did you know, in some countries, they call trucks lorries. Now you know that the word truck can be used to describe lots of different tough vehicles. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. What is a car that can go almost anywhere? Over rocks, across deserts, and even through snow. It's a four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drives are bigger than a regular car. They have larger, wider wheels, which have great grip on rough, bumpy surfaces. And all four wheels are powered by the engine. That's why it's called a four-wheel drive. Each wheel grips, pulls, and pushes at the same time. That's why these big vehicles can take you off the road. Through the amazing countryside. Down beaches. Or through a creek. These drivers are being very careful. Oops, watch out! That was close. These four-wheel drives are amazing. Wouldn't it be great fun to go exploring in a four-wheel drive? Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Today we're looking at a mighty snowplow. It scrapes and scratches all the snow and ice off the road, so it's safe for cars to drive. Here comes a big orange snowplow. Can you name the parts of the snowplow? Yes, that's the pointy snowplow at the front. A cabin for the driver and plow operator. Powerful lights and bright flashing orange lights to warn everyone and drive in any conditions. Big wheels with chains for grip. And there's another long plow on the side. Let's follow a snow plow in action. Along the road and through the tunnel. As it goes, salt and grit is sprayed out of the back. 
This stops the road from getting icy and slippery. Aren't snow plows wonderful vehicles? Hoo-hoo. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. What is a truck that is really big, has flashing lights, makes loud noises, and is maybe just a little bit smelly? It's a garbage truck. And here comes one now. But what does a garbage truck do? That's right, the garbage truck is collecting trash to take to the dump. It automatically loads the garbage into the back of the truck. From the side. Or from the back. The compactor goes down and squashes the trash deep into the truck. Impressive. Once at the dump, the tailgate lifts and the compressor pushes the trash out. Wow! That's a big pile of trash. Remember to recycle. That way, there'll be less trash next time. Hooroo! Hi boys and girls, Reggie Roo here. What is a boat that has an engine? A motorboat has an engine. A motorboat is also called a speedboat or a powerboat. The engine of a motorboat powers the propeller, which spins around and drives the boat forward. Some speedboats can go very fast, like this racing speedboat. On this boat, the engine is an outboard motor. The rudder steers the boat left and right. It is controlled by the captain of the boat. Can you see the captain is carefully steering the boat? Isn't that impressive? The boat rocks and rolls with the bumps on the sea. Motorboats can be used for lots of things. They're great for fishing. or perhaps to take someone water skiing or wakeboarding. Motorboats can come in all sizes. Some mega yachts are so big that they can cross oceans. That would be an adventure. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. There is one machine that you probably see every day. It's a car. A 
car has a big engine. Doors. A body. And four wheels with rubber tires. Inside, there are seats with seat belts to keep everyone safe. And the steering wheel for the driver controls where the car goes. Did you know? There are lots of different types of cars. There are electric cars that run on electricity instead of petrol. Look, it plugs in, just like a toaster at home. There are small, compact cars with hatchbacks. Sedans are bigger and have a boot. Station wagons are similar, but with extra room at the back. There are four-wheel drives that are great for going off-road. That looks like fun. Sports cars are fast. And vans are strong, but slow. There are yellow taxis and black cabs if you need a lift. Cars come in lots of colors. There are blue cars, white cars, yellow cars, and even green cars. Cars really do come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Hooroo! Hi boys and girls, Reggie Roo here. What is a machine that can go under the water? It's a submarine! A submarine is a watercraft, like a ship that can operate underneath the waves. They're used in the Navy and for undersea exploration, research, and salvage missions. Submarines can remain submerged for months on end. They generally have a tower. This holds the periscope, which the captain can use to see above the water. Isn't that clever? Submarines also have foreplanes and tailplanes for steering. Tanks, which can be used to make the sub go up and down. And a propeller to propel the submarine forward. This is powered by an engine. Some submarines can have over 100 people working on board. There are also tiny submarines that are called midget submarines. They can have a crew as small as one or two. Would you like to explore the deep ocean in a submarine? Wouldn't that be fun? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Are you ready to see the largest land machine ever? Powering away at a huge open-cut mine is the king of all diggers, the Bucket Wheel Excavator. The Bucket Wheel Excavator is enormous. It's the size of an oil tanker, but on land. It's so big that it makes this huge mining dump truck look tiny. And it's heavy too as heavy as 2,000 elephants. The giant digger has 18 buckets attached to a tremendous spinning wheel. The spinning wheel sits at the end of a really long boom, spinning and picking up coal as it goes. Each bucket can pick up tons and tons of dirt and coal. It is the fastest machine at digging in the world, but Sitting on its 12 massive crawlers, the excavator moves very slowly. Let's speed everything up so we can see the action.
the bucket wheel excavator digs and dumps at the same time. It does this by moving the dirt and coal along a conveyor belt. Through the machine and along the conveyor belt, the coal travels. It is then taken by big freight trains. And from there, to power stations. To create electricity. Back at the mine, the big digger continues to work all day and all night. What an amazing machine. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a bulldozer before? Bulldozers are large, powerful earth movers. Heavy bulldozers run on tracks instead of wheels, just like a tank. They're great at pushing around dirt, sand, rubble, or any sort of material. This is perfect for rough terrain, and it means they won't sink on sandy or muddy ground. This bulldozer is pushing sand around on a beach. The big dozer flattens the pile of sand as it reverses back. At the front of a bulldozer is the blade. The blade is a heavy metal plate which pushes the material. Can you see the blade? And at the back, some bulldozers have a ripper. The ripper has sharp shanks that dig into the ground. It can be used to loosen hard ground. They also have a cabin for the operator and a big exhaust pipe at the front. Bulldozers can also be used to clear land. Or they can be useful for moving rocks at mines. Have you ever used a bulldozer to move around sand in a sand pit? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Do you know what a backhoe is? A backhoe is the great all-rounder of a building site, which means they can do lots of different jobs. Backhoes are actually three separate pieces of equipment combined into one. In the middle, there's a strong and powerful tractor, just like one on a farm. Therefore, it's great for moving over rough ground. At the front is the loader, which is used to push and move dirt around. And at the rear is the backhoe. It's made up of the boom, the stick, and the bucket. The backhoe is great for digging. Can you see? It's similar to an excavator. Once all the dirt has been dug up, the backhoe can use the loader to move the dirt away. What a clever machine! Backhoes also have stabilizer legs and a cabin. The legs extend out and dig into the ground. They keep the backhoe steady while it's digging. And the cabin is for the operator to sit in and control the backhoe. Toot toot! Looks like it's time for the operator to have a break. 
Let's go get a cup of tea. Hooroo! Hi boys and girls, Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a tugboat before? A tug is a small but strong boat. They love to help other ships, vessels, and barges. Here comes one now. Hello? Can you see big rubber tires placed along the front or bow of the tugboat? That's so they can push other vessels. Just like a bumper car. Tugs are very powerful and can push even the largest ships. Like this huge cruise ship. Or this big container ship. The powerful tug is pushing it sideways into its berth. Tugs are also great at directing large vessels into harbor or down narrow canals. And they can tow vessels that can't move, like disabled ships, big barges, or massive oil platforms. Did you know tugboats can even break through ice for other ships? and help with salvage operations. Wow! Little tugs can do lots of things. Are you small and powerful like a tugboat? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Are there planes that can fly without propellers? Yes! They have powerful jet engines. You may have seen an airplane with jet engines before. Most passenger planes have large jet engines. And so do super fast, loud, aerobatic jet fighter planes. Look at it spin. Here are some blue and yellow jets taxiing on a runway. One, two, three, four blue and yellow jet airplanes. These jets are F-18 Navy jets. Can you see their powerful jets at the back? Take off! They fly with great precision. This is called flying in formation. Aren't they impressive? For extra speed, this jet is dumping fuel from the jet engine, creating a huge flame called an afterburner. Some jets, like this Harrier jump jet, can take off and land vertically, just like a helicopter. Wow, aren't jets great? Would you like to pilot a fast jet airplane one day? Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. What's this soaring high in the air? It looks like a plane, but has no engine. 
It's a hang glider. A hang glider is a light aircraft that floats through the air. They have a strong aluminum frame, which is covered by sailcloth to make a wing. The pilot hangs below the wing, and by moving their bodies, they can control the direction the glider goes. But if there's no engine, how do they get into the air to start with? That's how. What an amazing running takeoff! Some gliders are tandem. That means there are two people, which is great for training new pilots. The pilot points out where he wants to land. Watch out for the trees. landing. He's safely on the ground. Here comes the tandem. They use the wheels and roll to a stop. Would you like to soar high above in a hang glider too? Uru. Hi girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Have you ever seen a concrete mixer truck before? Yes? A concrete mixer has a large drum on the back that spins. Can you see the drum spin? Inside the drum, the truck mixes cement, sand, gravel, and water to make gluggy wet concrete. The wet concrete is ready to be delivered to a building site. The drum keeps spinning, making sure the concrete doesn't dry out. At the building site, they pour the concrete out. and the builders spread the wet concrete around using trowels. For hard to reach places, concrete mixers get help from a concrete pump. A concrete pump has a large extendable boom arm with a hose. It sucks up the concrete from the mixer and pours it out of the hose. Now the builder can reach a really large area. Out pours the wet concrete. Splodge, splodge. All that wet concrete is very messy, isn't it? Lucky the builder has big Wellington boots and a strong apron. Finally, they make the surface nice and smooth. Did you know that when concrete dries, it becomes as hard as rock? Have you ever walked on a concrete path? Huru! Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. Today, we're looking at tractors. Where do you think you could find a tractor? That's correct, on a farm. Tractors are slow, but very strong. They can be used for all sorts of jobs. Like hauling grain, Plowing a field. Or perhaps 
even to move machinery. Tractors can also be used to spread dirt or manure around a field. Some tractors can be used for fun, like taking a joyride. Would you like to go on a tractor ride? There are small tractors that are good for wineries. that can easily fit between the rows of grapes and really big tractors with large wheels. Tractors come in lots of colors. There are red tractors, blue tractors, yellow tractors, and there are green tractors with yellow wheels. What's your favorite color tractor? Hooroo! Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. Today we are looking at ambulances. Hands up! if you know what an ambulance looks like. That's right! Ambulances are large vehicles with bright flashing lights and a loud siren. Just like a fire engine or a police car. Ambulances are used to pick up sick or injured people, usually in an emergency. They arrive very quickly. Sometimes the police and fire engines help too. They then take the people to hospital. In the hospital, doctors and nurses work to make the people better. Can you say ambulance? It's difficult to say, isn't it? Let's try. Am, bu, lance. Ambulance. Very good. Did you know there are even ambulances at the airport? Huru. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. With bright flashing lights and loud sirens, it's exciting to watch a fire truck whiz past. Beep, beep. The big red fire truck races away. know what they carry on a fire truck. Well, there are firefighters on board who carry large hoses. There are lots of different nozzles for the hoses. Ladders that help the firefighters climb buildings. And axes and tools for cutting. There are blue flashing lights and there are red flashing lights. When a fire truck gets to a fire, the intaker sucks up water from a hydrant and the discharger pushes the water through the hose. The hard suction hose can suck water from a pool or lake if there isn't a hydrant around. Now the firefighters can put out the fire with the water. Would you like to be a firefighter when you grow up? It would be fun to ride on a fire truck. Hooroo! Good day, girls and boys. 
Reggie Rue here. I bet you've seen a police car before. With bright flashing lights and a noisy siren. It goes, eeyore, 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 eeyore. But did you know there are police four-wheel drives too? And big police vans? Full of police? There are police bikes that zip around. With flashing lights and whistles. They show important cars the way. There are police boats. With blue and yellow checks. And black police boats. That patrol the rivers. While there are police helicopters that soar above. and police emergency response trucks that help people in trouble. There are even police horses with helpful police riders wearing bright yellow jackets and blue helmets. For Arsenal Tube Station, you can enter from the other side and you filter to your right. Clippity-clop, away they go. In there. Special police force truck. Can you think of any other police vehicles? Uru. Hi, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a mine before? A mine is a place where machines dig up minerals. There is lots of activity at the mine today. There are excavators digging up coal and a huge yellow dump truck. The yellow dump truck is so big it towers over everything with large wheels and a bed at the back for loading earth. It would be hard to find a bigger truck. This means it can move lots and lots with every load. The bed is empty now. Oops, be careful of the rocks. The enormous excavator scoops up the earth, spins, then opens, dropping the load into the dump truck's bed. The dump truck is now full of rocks and dirt. The bed lifts up, and the load pours out the back. Wow! Do you wish you had a sand pit that big? Uru. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Where do you think we are today? That's right, it's a construction site. There's a yellow loader. Can you say loader? Load er. Loader. One, two, trucks. The loader drops the dirt into the front truck. One white truck, full of dirt. Two white trucks drive away.
some more dirt for the trucks. The excavator helps load the rear truck. The rear truck is now full of dirt. Here comes another truck. What other colors are on the trucks? Yes, that's right. Orange and a red stripe on the trailer. One, two, three machines at work on the construction site. Uru. Hi, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Did you know? There are lots of different types of trains. There are long distance trains that carry passengers, like very fast, high speed trains. Or maglev trains that float on magnets. and intercity trains that take passengers between big cities. Commuter trains bring people to the city. Rapid transit trains move people around the city, like the metro, which travels under the ground, trams, or monorails. Other trains, like steam trains, are fun to ride or watch go past. Toot toot! Freight trains are strong. And model trains are little. Do you have a toy train? Uru. Hi, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Today, we're looking at big trucks. Semi-trailer trucks are the kings of the road. They're made up of two parts. The large truck with a powerful engine at the front and a trailer that attaches to the back. The trailer can be loaded with all sorts of things. Grain, food, or even a huge rocket. <laughs> Here's a small forklift, loading the inside of a trailer with boxes. And here is another semi-trailer, leaving a wharf. It's full of fresh fish. Semi-trailers drive all over the countryside. Past mountains, across grassy plains, and over levees. They deliver their goods along the way. These trucks are at a sawmill. And this semi-trailer has been loaded with tree logs. The driver sits very high when controlling the truck. That must be fun. Have you seen a semi-trailer before? They're very big, aren't they? 
did you know? In Australia, some really big semi-trailers have several trailers. These are called road trains. One, two, three trailers. Wow, look how long a road train is. Hooroo. Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. What's a flying machine that soars high in the air like a bird? Is it a train? No, it's a plane. There are fast planes. Whoosh. There are small planes. There are big planes. And there are even tall ones. There are colorful biplanes flying in formation and jumbo jets being loaded with luggage ready for vacation. There are planes with jets and planes with propellers. Yet, they all have wings and they all have a tail. Some planes can even deliver the mail. They can land on water or drop it on a fire. It seems there's a plane for your every desire. Above the clouds they fly. Look at the plane's shadow below. Wow, to be so high must be a great show. An airplane truly is one of the awesome things that go. Hooroo! Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. What do you think we're looking at today? It's big, it's shiny, and it's yellow. It's a school bus! There goes the school bus, driving out of the garage. The bus is on its way to pick up the children for school. The driver carefully steers the bus through the streets. It's fun to ride the bus to school. When the bus stops, a red stop sign pops out and bright lights flash to warn the drivers behind. Always be very careful and look out for other cars when you catch the bus. You can see the yellow school buses in North America. In other countries, children also catch buses to school, but they might not be yellow. Finally, the bus arrives at school. Everyone flies off, ready for another day of learning. Hooroo! Feel free to comment below. What would you like to see next? And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>